Fight Hype here with Andre Ward. Andre, uh, your, your guy Shakur Stevenson just went eight rounds, eight rounds for the first time. Uh, what were you impressed with and then what, what advice would you have as far as improvement? I mean, I, he did what he had to do, you know. Uh, it's another step uh, in the journey and uh, he did what he had to do. He stayed smart. Uh, you know, obviously it's, it's always room for improvement, so you know, we'll talk about that as a team, but he boxed good from the outside. He showed some inside work, you know, the whole night. I was screaming for the body and, you know, he got some good shots in there and you can see they affected the guy. Some guys aren't going to go by the head shot. Sometimes you got to soften them to the, to the body and uh, that's how you go home early. So, uh, this is a good fight. He got test. He got tested enough. Uh, well, he's got something to work work towards yeah. moving forward, and I think this fight's gonna make him a better fighter. Representing him and then always giving young fighters advice. Uh, how important is it to you to be a, a role model to to up and coming fighters? I mean, it's, it's, it, to me, that's what it's about. You know, I mean, during my career, now that my career is over, it's like I want to give as much back to the next generation as possible. From a business standpoint, from a fighting standpoint, um, use all my experiences, the good ones, the bad ones, all of them, man, to try to help him be better than I was and whoever else is you know, maybe asking for some help to, for them to be better than I yeah. was. That's what it's about. Man. You say your career is over, but there has been some Twitter teases about you and Tony Bellew possibly. Um, is there is there pressure for you to come back or any any desire? I'm chilling, man. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm enjoying my family. Uh, yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, and then seeing you, Timothy Bradley here, Timothy Bradley's wife, uh, happy that he's not taking shots anymore. Um, how relieved is, is, is your wife? I mean, you know, she's happy. You know, I'm home more than, you know, I normally would be. Um, but she misses it, you know. It's, uh, it's been a part of our life for, you know, many, many years, over a decade. You know, my life for 23 years, but, but her life probably about 13, 14 years. So to just abruptly stop, it takes time to kind of get it out your system, so to speak. So, you know, she misses it, but she's happy I'm home. We did the right thing, and we're doing, you know, some other things in life, man. We're just enjoying it, and like I said earlier, just trying to get back. Here in Reno, Nevada, a special place for you. You've been coming here since you were a kid. Um, um, what does what does the city mean to you? Man, I've had a lot of fights here. Uh, I got family here in, in Reno and Carson City, and um, you know, I to come up here in the summertime. Sometimes as a kid, and spend time with them. And it's the last fight my dad got a chance to. It's the last place my dad saw me fight at was in Reno before he passed. So. Uh, Special, special place in my heart, man, and, and uh, it's just always good to get back. They always show me a lot of love and support. Is it on purpose that you've put in, uh, the, in the fight fights your career has had, a, it's been five different styles? Are you just getting him a feel for just different kinds of styles, or has it just worked out that way? Yeah, Shakur. I mean, that, you know, that's something that, um, you know, Top Rank specializes in. That's why we're there. You know, the matchmaking is amazing, man. They, they know how to put you in there uh, tough enough when you're getting work, and it keeps you honest, but, but you also, you know, do what you need to do to progress hey, to the next stage, hey. so it's perfect. It's just the right, just the right amount of, of, of pressure, uh, just the right amount of um, you know, just of a challenge. So you know, they they've been in, been in the business as long as they have uh, for a reason. So that's what he's there. Is that why you felt comfortable enough to to? I mean, to not only myself, but suggested you know, or James Prince, Josh Dugan, his mm -hmm. whole team. You know, everybody put our heads together and, and weighed the pros and cons, and this is the best situation. For Do you feel that this is your future? That you're representing fighters, managing, co-managing. Uh, being I a mean, part the thing, of careers. The thing with me, man, is like I'm not looking to sign a bunch of fighters. Like you know, it's about quality over quantity with me. You know, I don't have to sign a fighter to be involved with. Them. You know, I, I talk to guys all the time. You know, and you guys just don't hear about it. So yeah. I, I don't. You know, I, I love, man, just just you know being available, man, making myself available. Um, that's what I love to do. Uh, the older guys did that to me, and it was a blessing, man, to help me progress and grow and mature. And again, I'm just trying to be available to those guys. So it's not about managing. It's got to be the right situation for me to like put my name on a, a piece of paper for, with any fighter. Um, so I'm not really looking to do that. Uh, it's more or less just trying to be available. Yeah, here at the Olympic trials, I remember Shakur uh, was happy that you were FaceTiming him during the week yeah, yeah, yeah. in the trials and the box up giving him advice and uh, he seemed to light up when, uh, when when he was talking about it himself uh, just just the thought of someone like you uh, contacting him and reaching out yeah, you to gotta him. do it man because I've been in his shoes already and, and I've been up the road and I know what's up the road and you know if I could take a moment and say hey bro you know it's your moment you know this your time and encourage him and uh, you know maybe give him some tips on what to look out for and what he's gonna get himself into, man, that's what it's about. So I can't say it enough, man. It's about giving back to the next generation. If I'm just winning titles and making money for myself and not helping nobody,
know, that's a wasted career in my opinion. So, uh, just trying to stay focused, man, and keep doing that. All right. Any closing thoughts to the fans out there? Uh, man, I, I appreciate all the support throughout my career and the continued support. You know, whether it's the clothing line, whether it's meet and greets, whether it's anything I got going on, man, the love is still there, the support is there, still there. And I just want y'all to know, man, I'm thankful. I appreciate you. And uh, that's all I can say. All right. Hey, God bless.